The BJP and the Samajwadi Party now at daggers drawn over the new parliament building. Samajwadi Party leader Swami Prasad Maurya has said that the invite was sent out only to radical Brahmins of South India. The Samajwadi Party leader called the Tamil Nadu Adhinams a radical Brahmin sect. He insisted, Swami Prasad Maurya insisted that the Shaivite sect that was called from Tamil Nadu is a radical Brahman sect. And the Tamil seers blessed the Sengal, the Samajwadi party sees red on this. I quickly want to cut across to India today's Mosmi Singh who is speaking to BJP MP Poonam Mahajan. Let's listen in. Colonial, uh, colonial uh, uh, you know, buildings have been made. And now we are coming out of that with uh, the strength of India. With the strength of India, where India's culture, which is thousands of years old of culture, and the new idea of new India. When we are taking that big leap, I don't understand why opposition is questioning that. This is all coming with the democratic values. It's really embarrassing for them when they come next for the session and what kind of answer they'll be giving. We want to see that. And particularly, uh, the Congress has hit back. We are live on India today. He has hit at uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi that he doesn't believe in any democratic system. He de doesn't even attend the parliament, uh, doesn't even attend sessions. Yeah, uh, I think Congress's leader who right now is not a member of parliament, me being a member of parliament has not seen him in the parliament, only seen him when he has to create his theatrics of putting his sleeve up or going and hugging the prime minister and doing certain theatrics to show the world. Uh, I think that kind of party and their leader will be questioning the honorable prime minister's intent. <laughs> it's really, really hilarious and it's... It, it is disrespect to the country where democratically people have elected the prime minister second time mm. and disregarded you as a leader and as your private limited party. Your party is li literally a family based party. So I really don't want to talk about it. Itana acha time. It's such a wonderful day. I'm so blessed to be here. It's a blessing for all of us. They're also calling it PM's vanity project. It's a vanity po project full of arrogance and these are bricks of arrogance. <laughs> bricks of arrogance have been put down. Congress's brick of arrogance. I see the Congress's sheesh mahal has been broken. That's why their dreams have been broken. The strength, the you know, hard work of everyone who's put in the democratic value there, that has been respected. The Honorable Prime Minister is respected from the first Prime Minister, Honorable Nehruji, till now. And that is what we have seen right now. That's the strength of the democratic value. And, and I'm proud to be part of this. Sengal is also that strength they're showing. And I'm really, I'm really, I feel bad as a young parliamentarian. This kind of disrespect has been shown. Thank you so thank much, you so Poonam. Much. Thank you. So there, uh, Poonam Mahajan joining India today on this live broadcast, Gaurav. And we brought you a reaction from, from a string of BJP MPs who are reaching the parliament. Uh, many say that this is not a day for politics, but Poonam Mahajan and they're sharply hitting back at Rahul Gandhi for his absence in various sessions of the parliament saying that uh, those whose houses are made of glass cannot point uh, throw stone at others and uh, perhaps uh, saying that this is a his truly historic moment where, and the opposition has lost the opportunity to in fact be a part of these celebrations.